Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Omega Shenron uh, level 2, the strongest Shadow Dragon burst mode. Uh, this, you can see the modifiers chosen here, was a pretty simple-ish burst mode. We're doing it first with the Master of Evolution category because I think it's probably the easiest one. Um, so in terms of Master of Evolution, this time around you have to choose between tech or int. We're going to go for a full tech team. Now you don't have to, you can go for a full master evolution team, uh, including int characters. You just need to adjust your modifiers a little bit because I have the reduction against int type characters. Uh, in terms of your best team, ideally you have the LR movie guards. If you don't have them, it's okay. Uh, it will make life a little bit harder for you, but you can use Tech Trunks as a lead. Uh, you can replace them with the Tech SS3 um, Goku, or alternatively, of course, you can also you know, run with the Tech Freezer, uh, which will give you something a little bit more tanky. Uh, you can adjust as per the fly. There's a couple more Tech options that you can still use. So you've got you know, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, you still have the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta uh, and you have the Tech uh, Golden Freezer and even the Tech Transforming Freezer. Now it's going to depend on your lead. Ideally you use the SS Guards like I have been using uh, because that allows you to bring two of them and that makes your life a lot easier in terms of damage because we've made the boss relatively tanky. Now how the stage works is you have to choose between the first four dragons. Uh, there's Oceana Shenron, Rage Shenron, Naturon Shenron and Hei Shenron. You want to avoid any of them except for uh, Naturon. I mean, you want to go for any of them except for Naturon. Naturon's int type, which just makes life a little bit easier. You can take a bit more chip damage than you probably want. The path, the Nimbus correlates directly to the boss. So it only hops a short distance. It doesn't randomly move you. Uh, pick up as much key as you can because we do have the minus three key modifier. I am skipping the uh, Nova and Ice fight. The reason being is it's not too hard, honestly speaking, and you shouldn't really have any major issues with it. Uh, realistically, it's quite straightforward. Now, the second phase here is actually pretty simple. Um, basically, you have two phases against Omega Shenron, well, Sin Shenron and then Omega. Uh, Sin Shenron is very simple. Uh, basically just a physical type of enemy you nothing too crazy obviously we switched off attack reduction defense reduction ceiling etc etc uh, the way you want to set it up is you want to have ideally your ss guard units in the first slot and then either your super saiyan vegetas uh, in the second slot or you can have trunks or just whoever you need to have in the second slot uh, but ideally you have them in the second slot when you get to the strength Shenron phase, uh, he will start locking your, or has a chance to lock your characters in place uh, and that's just something you have to deal with. It's usually not too devastating. There's only one or two characters that if he supers you will take a lot of damage but you shouldn't you shouldn't die. You shouldn't be defeated. Um, at least, you know, based on like my estimates. But yeah, this team works very nicely. The gods, you're going to transform them pretty much immediately. Uh, because they're going to be a large source of our damage. In fact, they are all of our damage, and they're going to very swiftly uh, remove the boss from place. Now, depending on how lucky you get with your key orbs, uh, life's going to be a bit more or less difficult for you, but you do need to prioritize key for the blue Super Saiyan God Goku, uh, and also for Trunks, because they gain a lot of their defense on Super, and so it's very important that you do so. Once you get to the strength for Mega Shenron phase, things are pretty straightforward from here. Uh, unless your characters get locked into place, you stick to the same principles from the physical phase. Uh, you will take a little bit of chip damage here or there. But generally speaking, between the 18 keys uh, of the LR units, their active skills, and just their general all-round performance, you tend to do just fine. If you only have one LR, you're just basically going to take a slightly longer uh, process towards, you know, victory basically uh it's nothing too crazy it's just slightly longer um and that's it yeah pretty much uh, simple stuff honestly speaking nothing too crazy a very straightforward burst mode at least on the master evolution side i think there's so many good tech options that it's, it's just very easy uh now of course you know there's no real reason to not uh use 
end characters. Uh, so if you want to, you can. You just have to tweak your modifiers. Like I said, you're going to have to remove uh, the int damage reduction that I have. Uh, and obviously you remove that. Uh, and then you're probably going to have to switch in. Um, yeah, you're probably going to have to switch in some int characters. You can definitely do it, though. It just takes a little bit of tweaking. You might have to make the boss a little bit harder or a little bit tankier. Uh, but generally speaking, it, it's nothing too crazy. As you can see, damage is not really a big issue. And the rate at which the boss is doing damage to us is not a big problem here. So a little bit of tweaking isn't too crazy. Just don't ramp the attack up too much. Uh, especially if you plan on bringing the int Super Saiyan uh, Gods. So the int Realm of the Gods units as a lead. Uh, they can tend to struggle a little bit. Uh, especially when we look at like um, this physical phase against Shenron. Because they haven't built up, they can take a lot of damage. They can actually take... You know, at max attack they take around 150k at 55% so just be aware of that but yeah otherwise that's burst mode done for master devolution we will of course uh, take a look at the margin brew saga as well and then we'll see how things go from there but yeah basically that is uh, pretty much it for me I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like as always uh, and yeah thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one so until then as always take care stay safe and thank you for watching bye